very happy National Science Day. Today is the 27th of February and tomorrow we are celebrating National Science Day. So before I begin my talk or my keynote, I would just like to introduce myself with my story. Well, I am a young innovator and also a dream entrepreneur and I am also currently a co-founder of an emerging startup called Cloud Attack. My name is Prachar H. I am a young innovator, a dream entrepreneur and also I am here to share my experience and my lessons throughout this innovative journey of Number one, you don't know what you don't know. Well, this is a very famous quote and it may sound funny to some people. But the reality is, the meaning of this quote is very, very deep. You don't know what you don't know means a lot. It tells us the reason why some people are successful and some people are not. It tells us the reason behind luck and bad luck. It tells us the reasons and uh, answers to so many of our questions. Well, you don't know what you don't know basically means if you don't know something about the topic, if you don't know the topic exists at all, then it is human psychology that you are not going to learn it. You are not going to go in deep and study about that topic. And as Sir also mentioned in his entire speech, there were a lot of topics that were covered such as how to deal with waste management etc. If we were not present here, then we would have never known about that topic and at the same time had never done research after going home. Next. Every opportunity is a problem. So every problem is an opportunity. Find opportunities in every problem you see because India is a developing nation. There are problems everywhere and rather than getting angry on them and thinking, oh no, there is a problem and just ignoring it, do something about it. Make it an opportunity because all problems, some way or the other, are an opportunity. So giving an example, potholes are a major problem of India and we all face them. Many of you would have faced them while coming to school. But let's see how many of us would have actually noticed this as a problem. Most of us get angry. But if we convert this one problem into an opportunity, it can make wonders. That is something that I did. I devised an app called as Fix Me which reports these potholes to the government. How I came across this? A leisure uh, round with my dad on a two-wheeler and I faced too many potholes, saw the problem and thought of converting it into an opportunity. The second point is, if opportunity doesn't knock on your door, it means you don't have one and you've got to build it. A door. What do I mean by a door? This means that if you don't do or if you don't do your tasks properly, you are not hard working, then it is known that opportunity is not going to knock at your door because you don't have one. Build the door before searching for the opportunity and wait for it to knock. Once it is, then you have the world view. At the same time, to invent something, all you need is your imagination and a pile of junk. This is a very famous quote by Albert Einstein. All you need is uh, your imagination and you can make wonders. That is what innovation is all about. You don't need resources, you don't need specific costly resources, but all you need is a pile of junk and with your imagination you can make wonders out of it. And there's also one more point that I noticed through this journey. The difference between successful people and others. And this is all related to opportunity. Successful people make the best use of their opportunity and if they don't find any, they make it themselves. Whereas other people wait for the opportunity to come and when it comes to them, they make a mess out of it. And then the second point, uh, the third point is be curious. As Stephen Hawking rightly mentioned, look up at the stars and not down at your feet and, and think why the universe even exists and stay curious. Being curious means asking questions. Ask why, ask how, ask what. By, by asking these questions, you get some data. As Sir also mentioned, data is very, very important for some idea to get prominence in the society. Data is a boon. It is, it is the most powerful thing in the world that currently exists. Well, if you are curious, then you can find answers to all of your questions. These answers can give you opportunities and through these opportunities you can make wonders. And this is one more slide that I think has a lot of meaning to it. The difference between a boss and a leader. Well, in the boss picture if you can see, 
There's a man sitting on his mission and commanding the three employees to carry this entire mission to its goal. Whereas a leader is helping out his employees along with leading them and carry the mission forward. Well, in a long term, the in the long term, the leader's mission would have reached the destination much, much before the boss. And this is reality. Be a leader, and that is what I believe too. In a company, there should be no bosses, no employees. In a foundation or in an organization, there should be no higher or lower authority. All there should be or exist should be leaders. Each one, when a leader, has a responsibility to execute. And when he has a responsibility, he becomes successful. Don't expect and rather trust. This means that expecting someone is both a burden on you and the person whom you are expecting on. Rather, trust that person. Trusting that person gives him responsibility and he thinks you are more humble. You give him an opportunity when you trust him and he makes the best use of his opportunity and tries to save your trust. Also, expecting someone means he may or may not fulfill your expectations. But when you trust someone, it becomes his responsibility to save your trust. Boredom, your most powerful tool. Most of us would be thinking, this is a peculiar slide. But this is, I think, boredom is the most strongest or the most functional state of mind a man can be in. Boredom, what do we do in boredom? We do nothing and that is the point. As a fact, I would like to tell all the innovations that have made till now, all the ideas I've generated, I've got them when I was bored. Why? Because when you are bored, your mind thinks in a different aspect. When you are doing something, you concentrate on it. When you are bored, you think about everything that is around you. You see some things that were never visible to you before. And that is why, be bored. It, it's not always important to keep yourself occupied. Sometimes just say, do nothing and be bored and think. Because while boredom, that is what your brain is definitely going to do. The next point is time is money. Well, this means that if you are saving your time, you are indirectly or directly saving your money. Well, this doesn't mean saving your time doesn't mean you are not going to watch movies, you are not going to see or do what you love, you are not going to go down to play. No. It means learn. Learn in all scenarios, in all aspects and make the best use out of your time. If you are seeing a movie, don't see it for the sake of time pass because time pass never exists. Rather, learn something from it because then you can convert that time that you spent on that movie into money later on. Thank you. This is me, Prajalanai, signing off. Thank you, Prajwal. That was a fabulous presentation.